What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome to my first ever episode of my Let's Play Game of Thrones Total War House Renly campaign. House Renly Baratheon. Now, firstly, I would have shown you the start of all the factions, how it would have laid out, uh, what I was thinking of, and uh, the factions that came close. But I've obviously chose House Renly. Now, I couldn't do that because in the background of when you load up uh, this Game of Thrones mod, there's hate, there's Game of Thrones like literally playing in the background, like from the TV series, like there's images and clips playing all through it just on a cycle and it's using their music. Because I'm a YouTube partner, I cannot put that on my channel because it's technically owned by HBO and I can't, not saying I, I wouldn't even upload it as well because uh, I would get a strike. So I don't want to risk that at all. But it doesn't really matter for the modders because they're not putting on YouTube. So that's why I can't do that. Second of all, before I get into this campaign, if you haven't watched Game of Thrones or read A Song of Ice and Fire, I highly recommend you don't watch this campaign until you do. Because I'm not, I'm gonna, well, I've watched up, up to the second season on the TV series, and I've read the first book. I haven't read the second book. I'm just starting on it now. But, uh, so, no spoilers in the comments. And I'm warning there will be spoilers, because I'll be talking about it up to that point. Up to the second season, that's all I know. So, if that kind of makes sense, I'll get that out of the way. So, we're playing as House Renly. Now, the spoilers begin now. I decided to play as House Renly because I really like the Baratheons and uh, I like, I don't know, it's kind of cool with House Renly. Now, scenings, uh, where are we? Ah, there we are. Scenings, House Renly, here's a spoiler, is, uh, he's a homosexual, so, uh, it's going to be interesting, hang on, does it actually say in here, if he's like, off his fertile, um, so it's going to be interesting, because, if you, if you don't know, he does die, he gets assassinated by his brother, Stannis Baratheon, in the sense season the Clash of Kings, so it's going to, it's going to be kind of, we're creating history, kind of, if he ends up having sons and expanding the empire. Like, I, and, um, oh, everyone usually goes for, yeah, House Stark, yeah, House Lannister. They either choose those two sides, but I actually quite like the Baratheons. If he would have lived, I would have liked to see him be on the Iron Throne. But, nevertheless, I'm just going to quickly do a cheat. Toggle foe, I'm going to show you the rest of the map. Now, I'm sorry about this for cheating, but I want to show you guys the other factions and stuff, what came close. So, I'm not really experienced to this uh, game. I have, I've played a bit of the Starks. I got a fair few, a fair bit through it, but um, I kind of got bored of the Starks because they're all the way up north. And I played a little bit of the Baratheons. I enjoyed it, so that's why I'm going to continue on with the uh, House Renly. So obviously here, House Renly, Storm's End, and uh, it's going to be very interesting because. When you click on their names, they do like a bit of a speech, which is also owned by Game of Thrones. <laughs> I mean, HBO. So, this thing's just plagiarised with copyrights and just strikes of other people's content. Um, the Martells, which we haven't seen much of in uh, the first two seasons of Game of Thrones. So, I haven't seen past that point, and I want to watch the TV series and then read the book. So, but... But never fear, I know what Game of Thrones is all about. I know, like, just because I haven't set up to that point in the kind of history of Westeros, I've researched and I know a fair bit of the time before, um, the time before, uh, what's his face? Robert, Robert Baratheon's rebellion about Aegon and Targaryen and all the Targaryens and whatnot. So I know a fair bit of lore before Game of Thrones, if that makes sense. Um, House Tyrell here. Uh, obviously, House Lannister, House Tully, House Greyjoy, then there's Joffrey, House Joffrey, and then there's obviously the Arons, and then there's House Stark to the north. That looks kind of cool. There's a fair few custom settlements, but the only thing is shame, there's no wall. I wish they kind of added the wall in. I 
guess I'm not too sure what I'm playing at the moment. I will put in the comment section down below to the link to the mod. And, uh... I'll put a link to the mod and what uh, ch 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 what version I'm playing. So we haven't even got started into it. I wanted to do this at the start, but like I said, there was HBO content running in the background. I can't do it because I don't want to risk a strike. Cause it's not my content, so I can't provide it. So, the two factions that were really close were House Greyjoy. I nearly played as House Greyjoy. They would have been extremely fun. Getting on our ships, pillaging up the coast, taking some settlements. It would be heaps of fun. Didn't want to do Lannister. Um, I, depending on how this campaign goes, as House Renly, I might do some more Game of Thrones in the future. But I would like. To, I just want to keep on pumping out Medieval because I'm really enjoying it at the moment, and I might play some Third Age later as well. Um, I wasn't interested in House Joffrey or House Stannis, to be honest. House Aaron. A lot of people like to see that type of Let's Play, but a lot of people uh, recommend that. But to be honest, at the moment they've got, they're not at war with anyone and I don't know past season 2 so they're not at war with anyone currently in uh, Game of Thrones. Because this is said as a Game of Thrones, this is not a classic Clash of Kings. Or what's the other one? Storm of Swords, which I haven't read yet. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen there. And uh, the Starks are pretty close but to be honest they're so far up in the north. Like... They have to make all their way down to kind of rescue the uh, rescue the Tullys from the Lannisters. So I haven't really looked at the provinces too much. I don't really know where the rebel settlements are around. So I'm gonna have to because there's so many of them. I'm just gonna have to. Oh my god, I can't spell toggle. Okay. Oh my god. I'm just a bit spastic at the moment, girls. Okay. So there we go. So let's get into the let's play. So why not? I'm going to be doing this every single day, so never fear there'll be more Game of Thrones coming your way. So I might have to skip some movie scenes as well. Scenings, I don't know the content. So, currently, House Renly Baratheon is currently allies with the Tyrells. Yes, because uh, he's... It's his boyfriend. He's gay with... Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. I can't remember his name. Uh, Loras Tyrell, I think that's it, the Knight of Roses or something rather, but Marjorie's here, which is interesting. So we currently have an alliance with the Tyrells, which will be awesome. Uh, they're a massive faction, now. they're going to they're gonna be pushing the Lannisters on the back foot. It's going to be very interesting to how this develops, so uh, I can't wait for it. Be a Game of Thrones fan, and let's have a look at our enemies. So obviously House Lannister, House Joffrey, House Stannis. I might try to get a peace treaty with House Stannis. But, um, going to have to see about that. Okay, but without further ado, let's get on to the campaign. So, this is how I'm going to strategize and this is how I'm going to do it. Okay. We're going to build up an army. We're going to build a couple arms. And we're actually going to declare war on the Martells. We're going to push them and take all their uh, southern settlements here. Because they're all the way to the south here. Now, if I do that, we have a nice little cushion between us and the Martells. So we won't get attacked from the south. We can pretty much leave this undefenseless. But in saying that, we don't want to push all our forces down into the Martells because uh, House Joffrey Baratheon here, well, you know, I was about, to, no, well, he's not really a Baratheon, but anyway, he's here in King's Landing. We need to keep a an all, a couple of stacks here just to keep them on the defense, and uh, why Stannis will be helping us attack them as well. But we. I don't really... I don't know. Do we need the Iron Throne? I just want to... I don't know. What are our victories conditions, by the way? Oh, also... I am playing on version 2.1, I remember. And I'm playing on medium, medium. So that's going to be nice. I don't know how long this is going to last for. But it should be fun. So now, first of all, let's build some farmies. Okay. Don't own that. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what kids he has, but um, we're kind of rewriting history. That's kind of cool, unless he comes back from the dead, comes back as a ghost or something that I don't know of in the uh, last three, the third, the fourth, and the fifth book. But um, I just want to see if there's reasonable ruler, noble and battle, chivalrous, everyone's friend, my fool, and I, and I, wife is fertile. That is good. Is knowing to have a healthy wife or good breeding increases the chance of having children 
Wife is charming. Honest. I'm just trying to see if there's anything about his homosexuality because in the movies he didn't want to have it oh in not in the movies, he in the uh ch -ch -ch, just before he died, he didn't want to have uh sexual indowindo with uh Marjorie. So let's actually quickly click up the units. We've got eighteen thousand at our command. And then we've got Okay. Now how many troops are in Fellwood? One lot. So, so guys, let's actually kick off with the House Renly a Baratheon campaign. So, that's actually uh, we've done the economy. Let's actually start kicking up with the military. Now, it's actually really cold at my place at the moment. Uh, I'm actually in a sleeping bag, and I have a hot cup of Milo here. So, I'm just going a quick sip. 3 o'clock in the morning, a little bit nippy, so uh, best time to do gaming, I reckon. Okay, so we're going to divide the forces. Uh, how many troops are in Fellwood? We'll send one lot of archers, one lot of swords, and I'll just send the levies. Might keep the pikemen. Probably won't even kick that, just take the men at arms and we'll start besieging this settlement here. Now, um, like I said, we're recruiting here. We might make some ships in uh, Storm's End and uh, we'll be able to get over there to Eventful. Um, now, how many archers have we got left? We'll send the rest up north. Actually, we'll, take, we'll send them with one lot of cavalry just because. We'll take the settlement up here, that should be enough. And uh, we'll send Renly himself down to uh, down to Stonehelm and we will start the uh, try to get try to get this settlement try to get a foothold near the Martels. Now how much are we gonna get a turn? Income Can we get a diplomat from somewhere? That's what we need. Give me a diplomat from here. Oh, we got three slots, that's perfect. Trebuchets, wow, they're gonna come in handy. So um, actually, just want to quick have a quick have a quickly have a look at his traits. So he's got Lord of Storms End, the Storm King. And he's got Brienne of Tarth. So we're gonna take this settlement here as well. There's only Tarth, one lot of loyalty. That's interesting. That's probably his father. I don't really know about much about Brienne of Tarth because I've only watched season two of Game of Thrones. So I actually want to get a little bit comfortable here. If it sounds like I've just got a stupid chair, just broken. Take the settlement of Stone Dance. Where's that? Ah, oh, it's up there. Perfect. Oh, it's actually defenseless, so. Okay. End of turn. Military House Tyrell. Really? I thought House Lannister would have had the most military in this. Financial House Lannister, of course. Martel Production. Population Tyrell. Overall Lannister. Noble House of House Renly, you control Renly. Hold 20 regions, defeat the storms. You can choose to claim your kingship after which these conditions. Um, to be honest, I don't think we're powerful enough to declare ourselves king of the um, east. I'm not too sure what, what's called when you declare yourself king. Ah! New family member. History is being made. Rickard Baratheon. The first of his name. <laughs> okay, so actually start besieging this settlement here. Um, how, where is... Okay, hang on. We're going to send... Do we have trade rights with the Tyrells? Yep, okay, good. Um, I might send... I'll send my diplomat up so we can get a... We can go to House uh, Joffrey. We can get some trade rights. Maybe get a peace with House Stannis. Even though that is his brother and it kind of goes with the, I don't know, series that uh, they hate each other. I would rather a peace treaty with them because in uh, Total War it's not really essential. Bloody hell with their ears old. Um, okay. So guys, just going to quick update for you guys. Um, this, always for a Total War episode for me. Uh, it goes to 25 minutes the first episode, kind of a, bit of a little bit of a teaser. Um, actually, 
let's get all my ships and uh, let's actually go to event event hold so um it goes to 25 minutes and then I upload the episode every single day after which goes for 10 minutes so currently at the moment we're besieging we probably won't even play that seeing as there's only one general there we're about to take stone dance and um I might even get a, ce a peace treaty, get a ceasefire with House Joffrey because um, we can. I'll, I want to focus on the Martells, that's all I want to get. So once we get the Martells, like I said, we're going to have a nice little cushion between the Tyrells and us. Here goes the land clearance. Um, oh, that Milo is making me a little bit burpy. <laughs> Then we can focus on declaring our kingship and conquering the rest of the realm. So can we get a ceasefire with them? Very generous will give you trade rights. Oh, House Joffrey, King of the Iron Throne. I want to have a look at his traits after we do this. Who's he at war with? House everyone. <laughs> just, just house everyone. We can even get trade rights with them. And I would imagine Stannis is going to give them a little bit of a... Uh, Four Imperial Knights at your capital. Whoa, that looks sick. Um, what type is set on my Oh, how's that a three to one? That's interesting. So we've just taken forward. So I'm going to continue this campaign. And, um, I'm going to have a decent. Wow, again? Oh, now it's the same victory condition. So I'm going to have a decent attack at this campaign. Um, I haven't had much experience with this mod. I like I said at the very start. I played the Baratheons for a little bit, they were fun, and I played the Starks, but they got really boring because they were so far away from the action, and you had to haul all these troops down and back, and it was just getting really tedious. Um, we'll leave two lots of troops there, and we'll just send the rest back down. Um, we'll marshal everyone in Bronze Gate. So, after this, after we take out the Martells, I don't know, um, I really want to, I want to continue on with this, depending on how, how it goes. And I can see myself doing more Game of Thrones in the future because it's so far it's a really enjoyable mod. The uh, the uh, I think it's a sub mod I'm using off the version 5.3. I'm not too sure. I can't really remember off the top of my head. So we're doing well. We've captured nearly three provinces <laughs> in very short succession. Actually, we might get. Actually, no. I was going to say we should get map information, but I don't think we're going to need it because they only have King's Landing. And uh, this settlement here, because pretty sure that's all that rebel, and then our Stannis, obviously. How much are we getting from trade now, just from King's Landing? Not too much. Hopefully, I'm the only thing I'm hoping, uh, not hoping, is that how uh, Stannis actually sends an army to Stone Dance, because it's kind of um, a little bit north into their territory. Okay, um, largest faction, really. Most advanced faction. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, four units, that's not too bad. Plus loyalty. Courtney. Fair enough. Um, construction repeat there. Well, we might as well, just saying we only need to replace it by four. We'll send this lot. And there's four. Uh, have they raised an army in... Uh, even fall? Even fell whole, sorry. Wow. No point. How old is Renly by the chance? He's, he should be pretty young. Yeah, he's only 22. That's awesome. Um, okay, now let's... Can we repair some stuff? Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have repaired the settlements, but I don't think we... Didn't leave them too damaged. Okay, so we'll just leave one stack, uh, we'll leave one lot of pike militia in, I don't, uh, even full hole. That's a bitch to say. <laughs> Rally up back at Storm's End, and uh, we'll continue on. I would imagine that, oh, they actually have another town. Oh yeah, there goes House Stannis. House Stannis, do you want a peace treaty? They want a peace treaty as well, that's interesting. I will demand that map information. They just have Dragonstone. Now, hopefully, these two will go at each other's necks, and uh, we can focus on the Martells. Have the Martells actually declared 
allies or they're actually neutral. They're only the enemy with the bandits. Like I've only seen up to season two of Game of Thrones. I've read up to the first book, and uh, Martell has actually hasn't currently declared allegiance with anyone because uh, the prince of the pr the princess of Dawn. I uh, can't remember her name off the top of my head. Was married to I can't remember his name either. Some Targaryen, the prince. Uh, Jamie Lannister, uh, the king's, oh, was, it, was it Rhaegar? I can't remember, they all sound the same, they all sound familiar, <laughs> they all sound the same, the Targaryen names, Rhaegar, Aegar, <laughs> stupid, <laughs> um, yeah, and then, as I was saying, the Lannisters actually stabbed and uh, killed her children, obviously, so... Um, I'm just trying to think, who should I move out of Storm's End? There's a lot of Imperial Cavalry here at the moment. Well, we're going to move this out. We'll leave Courtney here, there at Storm's End. So, I'm actually going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I am. I can't wait to get into it. You know the first couple of turns of Total War is a little bit tedious. So, this might not be exactly where we left off. I will uh, quickly go ahead, no, skip no more than three or two or three turns. And uh, if there's a battle, I'll sure as hell show you so if we can get some uh, battle in the second episode. Sorry there wasn't a battle. But, um, yeah. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. This has been SimSy. I'm out. Layers, my friends. And uh, never fear, there'll be more Game of Thrones, Total War very shortly. So, bye-bye, guys. Hey, guys. Just before I leave you, could I please ask you to follow me on Twitter? It's the best way to interact with me. I respond to every single tweet I get. On that, you'll be able to see when I post a video. Uh, giveaways coming up and also when I'm playing subscribers and also if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to me to get the most recent and up-to-date content on my channel so thanks guys bye